I'm going to tell you some stuff uh, that I never really tell most people. You know, back in my day, uh, everybody did calves like six days a week, and uh, I had the most success training calves twice a week, okay, with my body type and really hard, intense training twice a week proved to be most effective. Uh, I did normal calf raises, you know, standing calf raises and seated calf raises primarily in those two major exercises. But one thing I did on the standing calf raise on certain days and on the seated calf raise on certain days at the end of my workout, I would put slowly and progressively as many plates as possible. I mean, Joe Gold made a special seated calf machine for me and extended the bar so I could put like 10 hundred pound plates or 15 hundred pound plates. And my goal was to just hold the weight at the end of my workout. So many workouts, I would just hold the weight, not up high, not real low, but in the middle. And I would just hold it and hold it. And you imagine holding, you know, uh, you know, a thousand or 2000 pounds at the end of your routine, just holding it still into where I could hold it, I could barely hold it. I'd have some of the big guys, the monster guys in the gym push on it for me, barely, and I'd, they'd watch me and stay close to me. And as soon as I felt that it was getting too much and I could, my tendons and ligaments couldn't handle the tension, I would say, take it now, and they took it. So I really believe, and that's, that's my message to you, that the static rep, the partial static rep, maybe once a week, twice a week at the most, proved to be unbelievable uh, it was magic for my calves. You know, back, I never wanted to get implants, and it was between getting implants or uh, doing heavy static work, partial static work, and the heavy training, the hard work, old school training, the methodology worked best. That's the, that's the actual fact. I don't think I ever said that to a writer in a magazine. I may have, but that's uh, what worked best for calf for me. One day I did high reps prior to that, of course, and one day I did real low reps. But, uh, and I alternated that, high reps one time, low reps one time, but always the static reps proved to be most effective. I never really think about being old school. I think about being the, the only school. What worked in the old days, what worked in the 70s for me, in the 80s, in the 90s, in the 2000s, okay, is never changed. Uh, I think what has changed is people put more thought into, uh, you know, other things besides the training fun of the training, figuring things out, uh, and the, really that mentality of, of really having a great time, having fun in the gym, people forgot about that. They're into, well, if I take this supplement and that supplement, and, I, and if I do that, I mean, that's important. Yes, it's very important, but in the gym is where, you know, you break down muscles. When you're home resting, eating, and sleeping is where muscles grow, of course, but the, there's a lot of things to do in the gym. The old school mentality in the gym is uh, something that I always think about. It was, uh, it was just the sheer love of going to the gym uh, and not holding back where you get to go crazy in the gym and just not hold back at all and to where you can have this sort of this uh, reckless abandonment. I, I love that mentality. You can do anything you want in the gym, uh, so to speak, <laughs> okay? Uh, and I like that mental, physical freedom it's like you invent, you create. Uh, and then, of course, you turn on that switch to where you turn into a uh, crazy person. Uh, and then you shut that switch off and you become normal again. Uh, and I, I like that time. But old school, to me, represents uh, a mentality, uh, a sheer enjoyment, not a mentality of uh, self-sacrifice and discipline and doing without and suffering and starving. That's not old school. Old school is abundance and prosperity and, and gaining muscle and getting stronger in not only in the gym, but in life too. And I think that's what the gym gave me. And that's what old school represents to me. And the last thing I have to tell you about is simply keep it old school. Bye-bye.